We created a block and put a hole in it, but now let's say we needed to change something. First, let's change the depth of the extrude boss and base. Right click on the feature in the feature tree and click edit feature. Change it to 4 inches deep. If we look at the front face, we can see that the cut extrude is no longer all the way through. This is because we made the hole only 3 inches deep. What we need to do is to make the hole go all the way through, no matter what the length of the part is. Let's edit the cut extrude by right clicking on the cut extrude in the feature tree, and clicking the edit feature button. The drop down at the top shows we are making a blind hole. For a blind hole you need to define how deep you want the hole to go. Click on the drop down box and you can see all of the options available. Through all is the end condition we want. This will make your cut extrude cut all the way through your part in one direction. Through all both cuts through both directions. Up to next will cut up until the next feature or face. Up to vertex will cut until a vertex that you specify. Up to surface will cut up to a surface that you specify. Offset from surface will cut up to a specified distance from a surface. Up to body will cut up to a body that you specify. Mid plane will use the plane of the sketch as the middle of the cut. It will cut the same distance in each direction. We will likely be using blind and through all in most of our designs. For our part, we would like the hole to go through the whole part, no matter how long the part is. To do this, select through all in the drop down and press the green check mark to finish editing the feature. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of the different end conditions and extruded cuts.